I woke up a bit earlier on day three of our journey and headed out into Ohio Pile, just a short block from where we were staying, in order to get some donuts, some baked goods for breakfast. Once the kids were up and dressed and ready to go, we headed over to the Ohio Pile State Park Nature Center, which had so many interactive displays, and uh, our children were in there for over an hour. Um, we were reading them, the different you know, dialogue that was on the displays. We were interacting. They had this great stamp um, sheet that the kids had to move through the exhibits in order to gather the stamps on their pages. They could watch the falls from the observation deck inside. And uh, there was, you know, different displays on gear, what you would need if you were bird watching or, or hiking or if you were going to be kayaking. Um, and they also broke down some of the history of the Ohio Pile area and the uh, Gap Trail itself um, into different time frames showing the different forms of transportation, you know, back to when the Native Americans were walking the trail all the way up into transportation today. So overall, the Nature Center was one of our favorite stops on the trail, and we definitely feel the need to go back to that space to explore some more. We love these state park, national park nature centers for our kids. Go ahead. That's a trout in there? Yes. What's the other fish? Oh, this. This? It is a bass. It is. Awesome job. Great work. I'm glad you know your fish. So we just took a quick detour this morning. We're getting on the trail a little later. Um, we arrived in Ohio Pile after the Ohio Pile State Park Nature Center closed yesterday evening. It opened at 8 a.m. today. What a treat. Um, it's just so interactive. For children, for adults, there were audio, visual, just touch and feel sensory learning opportunities for everyone. My children were just enamored. It's so beautiful, so well done, and so immersive in a small space. If you come, it is a 100% must stop spot. Um, we're walking through right now all of the walkways and natural garden areas. Uh, if you're a plant enthusiast like us, this is a great place to kind of nerd out over the natural plants and wildlife. In addition, there are so many of these descriptive little boards along the way, giving you additional tidbits. Um, and the falls, of course, are rushing off to my side over there. So just scenic, beautiful, and we're right off Main Street in Ohio Pile. So worth the stop and a great way for the kids to wake up, stretch their legs, and get ready for biking. How do you feel about biking today? Great. Great? Yeah. yeah. No? Are you tired today? Yeah. How about though tomorrow? What are we excited about tomorrow? It's a downhill ride, right? So when you bike out of Ohio Pile, you are still in the Ohio Pile State Forest. So very wooded section of the trail. The river is stunning this morning. Um, we've been lucky. Temperatures have been great. Blue skies, lots of sunshine. And yeah, we're headed to Confluence. So here we go. How's the biking this morning, River? Good. Good? Awesome. Has it been uphill yet? Not really. Slight, yeah, but not much. So where are we headed? Confluence. Confluence. How many more miles do we have for that? Six. Good. We just stopped to shed some layers. It's warming up a little bit, so. Alright, get to the right just in case. Awesome riff. Keep going. That's amazing. Nice downhill. 
Good morning. At about mile 11 into our ride for the day, we stopped at the Lucky Dog Cafe right off the trail in Confluence and uh, grabbed some iced teas, just some drinks to refresh and socialized with a few very cute but rather shy pups before we got back on our way. We just passed through Confluence, had a quick stop at the Lucky Dog Cafe right off the trail and we are headed over Looks like a bridge here. Um, on our way to wow. Rockwood. We're excited. Yeah. 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 Whoa. Wow. There are some old boards on this bridge. We hit the trail at a great time of year because so many of the wildflowers were in bloom. So along the way, we had a lot to look at uh, as far as plant foliage and color. And the kids enjoyed picking bouquets for either shop owners or bed and breakfast hosts. So ignore my heavy breathing. But the mileage from Confluence up to Rockwood is a pretty sustained great and granted it's like a two percent right but it's enough especially pulling loaded trailers that you feel it um you know i'm a mom we cycle a lot but i am not out there training or looking to hit top speeds we do this as a family endeavor we do this for enjoyment we don't push River. I mean, she's eight. Are there moments we slow roll to an extreme? Yes, because it's for her comfort. Um, so this 40 mile day, I knew it was gonna be tough. She's been so positive and happy. So we're hoping things like the Pinkerton Tunnel um, break up the mileage. And we'll do a nice meal in Rockwood and, uh, you know, see where it goes. Tomorrow is downhill, so we have that to look forward to. Um, George is great. He knows when I'm struggling and he kind of silently takes over is her motivation. He's got her howling like a dog right now. So... I'll take it. River's gonna show off some of her fancy bike moves. Whoa. Pretty cool. Nice, Rivs. Now level pedal it. I know you're doing great. Wow. Oh, scoot over, ma'am. Give a big wave to the cyclist. Hello. Giving her the opportunity to show off her moves and play around breaks up monotony. So we do that a lot. So we just stopped for a break. Um, we're about 20 miles into our 40 mile day, so halfway. Um, we've been biking uphill consistently. Strava is telling us it's only a, you know, 0 0.7, 0 0.75, which isn't a huge grade. It feels like more. There are definitely certain sections that feel like a greater incline. Um, it's very wooded and not, I guess I would say not as scenic through here. We're above the river. Um, there's not as much to look at. And so I guess coming at this from a mom perspective, it's a lot fewer 
distractions for kids. One of the things that keep our kids going is the stops in little towns, the sightseeing, um, you know, cool features, natural features, uh, man, man-made features. We are about, um, I think, I think, a mile from the Pinkerton High Bridge Tunnel and Low Bridge. So that we're looking forward to. I have just told the kids that it's going to be a surprise. Um, but yeah, I would say that if you're going to do this, you know, straight through, just keep in mind that this section has felt like it has had the least amount of quality distractions thus far for the kids. I think after um, Rockwood, you know, we have some other cool features coming up, but just, just keep that in mind. Everybody's in really good spirits. We've just fueled up on granola bars. Um, River is actually anxious to get on her way. Why do you want to get on your way? So she's chomping at the bit to go and the rest of us are a little saddle sore and kind of slow rolling this one. So, well, we found something. No way, a tunnel? That's the surprise. The Pinkerton Tunnel. It is a surprise, you stinky monkey. Five or six I was off by. Well, River, welcome to the Pinkerton Tunnel. No, we are having lunch in nine miles at Rockwood. Oh, it is cold in there. You... River, come on next to me or ahead of me. Okay, I'll go. If you want. Wow. It feels weird, doesn't it? Like you're not moving at all. It's a dark tunnel. <laughs> Why? It's pretty cool in here. Really, bud? You see the light? Rockwood. Super cute entry from the trail. Um, love the art, but we've got nothing to eat. <laughs> so we rolled into Rockwood uh, hoping this was kind of our lunch stop with two hungry kids. And um, the trailhead tavern up there, or the brew company, does not open till 4. We rolled in around 2.30. Um, the Tin Tavern is definitely more of a bar, and so not really suitable for the kids. Um, the Opera House, I'm under the impression, is closed. That used to be a great food stop. And so, without venturing too far into the depths of town, we have unfortunately settled for behind the propane tank here in the shade at Dollar General. Which, Dollar General, in Rockwood, if you see this, get your act together and put some healthy great grabbable options in those coolers because the four yogurts and block of cheese just didn't quite cut it um so we did potato chips yogurt cheese and uh some drinks and it's gonna be on to myersdale here soon 
Although Sawyer's very, very happy because Sawyer watched another train go by on the tracks, didn't you? What do you think? Still looking for trains. Friends, family, dear viewers, this is River after mile 30. She's not being pushed. She's in the best of spirits and showing off. The rest of us are slogging at an uphill grind and she's forced to stay at old folk pace to keep up with us. Poor kid. So really, again, we don't force her to do this. In fact, this trip, I think we actually slow her down. Hello to the happiest force on our entire trip. And hello, Wishy and Chewy and all your flowers. I think Sawyer's tired, River. More uphill. Current distraction. <laughs> the overly friendly guinea hens outside of the farm we just passed. They're funny, aren't they? Oh, I think it's better than that. River Magnolia. I believe this is the Salisbury Viaduct. Maybe. Uh-huh. Here we go. Oh, bump. Boom. There goes the train on the Salisbury. We are on the Salisbury Viaduct. Sawyer, this is crazy. Do you see the train? Yeah. River's got wings. She's flying. How cool. This is nuts. This is so crazy. This is when I wish I had a drone. This doesn't do it justice. I don't know if you could see it well in the video, but this whole section is just covered in Dame's Rocket and it is so pretty. Buttercups, Dame's Rockets. Welcome to Myersdale. We're having some mechanical issues with George's bike as literally skipping gears on him, changing gears without him doing it. So we need a bike mechanic. But we have reached town. The kids are excited. Today was just a long day. <laughs> she has been amazing. We're here in Myersdale, Sawyer. Yay! Yeah, you want to go see that? We're going to come back. I'll walk up here with you. Fifth and final train for the day. We just pulled into our Airbnb and uh, there it goes, right through town. We almost got stuck on the other side of that train. We would have had to stay there waiting. Yeah. So first impressions of Myersdale, the um, visitor center looks super cute. Um, very, very nice, clean. Main Street was easy. It was a downhill. I don't know how I'm getting up it tomorrow with the trailer, but just wonderful all over. 